Mic check one two in the B L E. I I I I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, <clears throat> we are talking to Xanthel after our successful defeat of Leviathan. When Yugiri met the Fraternity is the name of this quest. Continuing with the storyline, the Admiral has informed me of the arrangement. I have in, I have in my keeping a letter of introduction for Lady Yugiri. To the south stands a gate leading to a pier for smaller fishing vessels. Look for an inconspicuous hired man there and present the letter to him. He serves as a gatekeeper of sorts. Now, before you go, I am obliged to remind you that the members of the ahem, fraternity to which you would be introduced abide in the shadows of Lumensian society. They value their independence more highly than pirates and are united by a bond stronger than Mithril. To wit, they are invariably wary of new faces. Though it be penned by the Admiral herself, mere words on parchment will get you only so far into their confidence. You, you must work for every ons of trust they place in you. But here is the letter. Go to the aforementioned place and show it to the aforementioned man. Oh, and good luck. Thank you. I shan't be needing it. I have a little bit of, uh, how you say, uh, history. Well, not specifically Mercy, I suppose, but... If the history of another character, I have a level 50 something, 60 something ninja. I'll admit, I got a little bit um, lazy on that character. Ninja's cool, and the rotation is interest, very interesting. But at some point in time, I got, like, I unlocked Dancer. And Dancer's just so much easier, and, like, I don't really care if my damage is just a bit, like, lower than on Ninja or whatever. We are outside of a um, <clears throat> nondescript door. You know, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about it. In fact, forget you saw anything. But we're talking to... Uh, he's not Hyurin. This is, this, is a, this is a Rogadin, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway. There's not behind these uh, co convent... Sorry. There's not behind these convent doors for a worldly type like you, missus. We're the, we're the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss. All pure and saintly-like. Now bugger off. Hang about. Ain't you that lass that goes by the name of Mercy? Ha, huh, I knew it. We would we we like to snitch uh, all the rising talent. Snilch all the rising talent, and from what I hear, your head and shoulders above the rest. If you can handle yourself as uh, half as well as they say, you might well be of use to us. Ah, uh, forget all that, sisters of the Edelweiss bollocks. That's just a bit of fun f uh, to fob off the curious coals. We're a guild of rogues, lass, and it's mainly uh, our marks as, do as does the praying. Me and mine work in the shadows of Limsa, uh, Limsa, taking a keen edge to the rooks and cacklers who have earned themselves a millen. We don't tout for members. We, we, we every now and again, but every now and again, we might offer a promising young cove a place in the ranks. If you've an interest in joining us, tip us your da daddles, and we'll put a hilt in each in each one, <clears throat> just like the gods intended. So what do you say? Fancy learning a new trade? Not at the moment. Not for you, eh? Suit yourself. Me and my chaste sisters will pay, pray for your immortal soul and so on. Uh, he is apparently not who I was supposed to talk to. <laughs> Makes sense, because she did mention a a higher and or he mentioned a higher and man, so. Now I'll explain it. This inconspicuous higher and man now standing next to a shadowy woman. Hmm. Hmm? Got business with me, Venture? Hand over the Merlvid's letter of introduction. Cutscene fade to black. So you're the woman the Admiral sent word of. I was hoping I might catch a glimpse of Thancred, too. Been a while since I saw his, his shite-eating grin. Uh, but, what, but what with all the doe-eyed wenches about, I expect he got his hands full. And as he speaks, the, oh no, here's Yugiri. Ah, and you must be the Far Easterner, what Merle, no, what Merlewib says wants to train with us. Welcome to Limps, Limsa, my lady. I am Yugiri of Doma. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I must confess, when first I learned of your organization, I had certain preconceptions as to the nature of your membership. It would seem I was mistaken. You're the first person to say that, lass. Limsa is a city of pirates, to be sure, and pirates don't give two farts about keeping a spotless reputation. They hardly need a secret society to do their dirty work. 
might be as my people and I keep to the, keep to the shadows, but we've got nothing to be ashamed of. It's simply better for business that we remain unseen. And so you have, uh, and so you have developed fighting techniques suited to that to this purpose. I see. Know that the practitioners of my art too are denizens of shadow. Tis in stealth that our strength lies. There is much we might learn from one another. I think. Am I getting any sound from the game? Don't think I am. And what in the seven hells are we waiting for? If you come with us, you <laughs> you agree of do what's it? You can get acquainted in more private surrounds. <laughs> that didn't come out right, did it? Lady Mercy, I shall remain with these people for a time that I might study their ways. Though I am loath to be separated from my countrymen, I like solace in the knowledge that they are in the best hands. Or I take solace in the knowledge. You have been a true friend to us, Domans. No words would would suffice to express my gratitude. Ere long, I hope to begin imparting my martial knowledge to the people of Eorzea. Uh, when that time comes, it would be my honor to welcome you as a student. You smile and nod, as most uh, diplomacy uh, people do. Diplomats, as, as it were. Um, typically. Alright, next up, from Yugiri. Through the Maelstrom. Much and more has occurred since first I beheld Eorzea from the Galleon's deck. Suffice it to say, I did not envi envisage being invited to play a part in your noble struggle. But forgive me, I have kept you over long. Doubtless you have pressing business of your own. Rest assured that I no longer require an escort from this land. When next you meet Lady Minfilia, pray rel relay to her my humblest thanks. Would that I could do so in person, but I must needs fulfill my promise to the Admiral. Till we meet again, warrior of light. All right. Speaking of Minfili, I believe that's where we're supposed to go. I've just recently learned of a version, or private server, I believe, called Horizons, or Horizon, that is a Final Fantasy XI server, that is level capped at 75, has you know modifications they've made to the ui to make it more just the kind of ui final fantasy 11 should have had all along or at least should have had once okay i can hear the jazz wolf i can see the jazz wolf is making some kind of an impression on a anyway um but i, I didn't know it existed and you know it's level capped in that 75 is the cap but that does not mean that the um they're trying to once you hit 75 they're trying to make progression um horizontal rather i guess rather than vertical which vertical i guess in that case would mean you get higher levels but horizontal well so the game already had what i would consider a lot of a lot of games once they reach a level cap but then they they keep getting expansions they reach a level cap that they want to stay capped at but they release expansions that will give you better gear and the gear more or less kind of Round, in a roundabout way increases your level without literally increasing your level. So I think that's what they're trying to do with this Horizons server. But the weirdest thing that I see is I've looked at... I, I watch, I've been on there on Twitch for the, on the, on the past couple of days and just kind of seeing what everybody's up to on there. And I keep seeing paladins with clubs. Hammers, to be specific. And paladins... I think they have like an A minus, unless they've changed it, I think they have an A minus in, in clubs slash hammers, because they're the same weapon type in, in that game. And they have an A plus in swords. And swords in general are just better with better weapon skills, although maybe the club having, you know, the, the, the light element weapon skill makes it so that it doesn't miss. It'll do less damage, but I, I, I guess it could make it so it doesn't miss. And maybe the... The, the A minus versus A plus also means that your your accuracy and attack are going to be lower with that with that lower rated weapon, and I guess at lower levels. But they were in Crawler's Nest. One was in the Dunes, or like not the Dunes, but Boomerimo Peninsula. I don't know. Sorry, you're not here for that, but it's interesting. I don't know why I'm seeing paladins. I have been reflecting upon the events which took place during our visit to Vilbrim. With hammers, but I'm not. I'm not liking it. it doesn't it looks weird <laughs> to me? If you have a moment. I would share my conclusions with you. Please, bear with me. And again, I, when I first played Final Fantasy XI, I wanted to play a paladin with an, an axe and a shield, so. When the Sahagin Elder summoned Leviathan, 
He employed the power we have come to know as the Echo. Though I cannot well explain the how of it, it would seem he became immortal in so doing. When the Admiral subsequently slew him, his spirit emerged from his lifeless flesh, a consciousness shorn of physical form. Thus transfigured, he took up residence in the body of his minion with the ease of a man donning a favorite glove. Long have I known that the Echo allows one to pass through the walls of a man's soul, but never did I imagine that it could free us from our own flesh, nor less that our souls could then occupy the next corporeal vessel to take our fancies. It was of this that Elidibus spoke, an existence which knows neither cessation nor oblivion. And yet, though the Sahagin had mastered his gift and thereby become immortal, he was by no means invulnerable. As we both bore witness, he was ultimately absorbed into Leviathan. And the import of this observation? If the Asian's mode of existence is indeed the same, it can be inferred that they too are not invulnerable, that they can be destroyed. There exists a legend which tells of souls who are reborn upon the cusp of each umbral calamity, that they might stay the encroaching darkness. To most, it is but a fairy tale. Yet recent events have given me cause to wonder. Could the legend in fact refer to the Echo? Much and more yet remains unknown. But I am confident that all will become clear in time. For the present, however, what matters is that the key to defeating the Asians may at last be within sight. With Orianger's aid, it is my hope that I shall fathom this matter ere long. Orianger comes running oh, in. Oh, I was just about to send for you, my friend. Is Otamis? Grave tidings from the Charlian motherland, my lady. It doth concern our distant allies, the students of Valdesian. What of them? My lady, the Isle of Val, which for many years hath been the Order's home, is no more. No more? Whatever do you mean? I relate only that which hath been conveyed unto me by our agents. An etheric wave of the highest magnitude was recorded in the region. Soon thereafter, t'was observed that the isle had ceased to be. Tis postulated that a magic was evoked, like in power to Ultima. Twelve preserve. We're at the at large table in Ulda, where the meetings take. If there are no other matters, I move that today's meeting be adjourned. This is Lola Rito. Robon stands. The rest of the market people stand, except for that one, Lalafell, who was seemingly on our side last time. And now the camera is on him, and it's it's a darker motif. And someone has walked up behind him. It is done, my lord. I... <clears throat> forgive my impertinence, my lord, but these orders... I am uncertain as to what end they serve. Revolution. Creepy smile. So that was like far away. We just got a little piece of that action, just for, you know, for suspense, I suppose. Uh, next quest: the Great Divide. Our friends, the very Isle itself, everyone and everything. No, no, it avails us not to speculate. Rion J will send word if there are there any developments. Until such time as he does, we must remain firmly focused on that which is within our power to change. 
With that in mind, I would speak of a, on a, of a different matter, one closer to home. It concerns etheric fluctuations, which which we had previously attributed to good King Magomog the third, the twelfth. God, ugh. that the king is no more is a blessing for which you we have you to thank. Yet all is not well in the twelves' wood. Our latest readings reveal an ongoing eth etheric disturbance of considerable magnitude. It may even suggest the presence of a primal. Needless to say, the mere possibility warrants immediate investigation, and I would have you. Acilia, er. Celia, I do not wish to interrupt, but we have a problem. I believe this is her mom coming in. Yeah. What manner of problem? A band of refugees hailing from Ulda this time, uh, hailing from Ulda this time, are come to Revenant's Toll seeking asylum. It would seem they expect us to afford them the same treatment we gave the Domans. At present, they are in the seventh heaven, awaiting a formal response. I see. Mayhap this was to be expected. I shall meet with them at once. Acilia, you know full well we haven't the resources to accommodate many more people. Consider what will happen if we if you do this. Word will spread, and more will follow. Your opinion is duly noted, but I will hear their suit. And Philemine walks off. Mercy, I should be grateful to your uh, for your presence at this meeting. Okay. Let's go meet the meetings, meet them, members. Oh, you guys are right here. Draggle tailed refugees. Cutscene, fade to black. <laughs> I apologize for keeping you waiting. My name is Mephelia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Twelve be praised, it is you. We're ready and willing to work. Same as the Domans. Just give us a task, and we'll see it done. Pray calm yourselves. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I know not of your situation. Beg your pardon, Antecedent. I, I ain't so good with words. We've been living off the scraps of Old Da for years now, trying to piece together a life to replace the one what, what got took. They say there's work, but there's not for an honest man. Not as wouldn't sully his soul sooner than his palms, any road. The flames do uh, what they can for us, of course, but it ain't near enough. And it's only getting worse. When the calamity broke us to our knees, brought us to our knees, well, those rich bastards in the city didn't help us up. They climbed on our backs. I don't pretend to be clever, but even I can see what's coming. I knew we had to run. The only question was where. And then it came to me. Revenant's toll. I mean, you took them foreigners in, didn't you? So you'd surely do the same for us. Minfilia shakes her head. I, I fear the situation is rather more complicated. While it is true that we accepted the Doman's petition for aid, that decision was the product of extraordinary circumstances. I sympathize deeply with your plight, but pray understand that it is not possible for an organization of our means to aid all who have been affected by the calamity. And so it is with great regret that I must deny your request. But, but we've nowhere else to go. You're turning your back on us? If I might have a word, says Tataru. Tataru, is that a miss? Ill tidings from Ulda, my lady. Alphano has, Alphano has been wounded. What? How? Is it serious? I cannot say for certain, but I fear it might be. According to the flames, the refugees started a riot. They went wild, apparently, lashing out at any and everyone. That can't be right. Why would they? They must have been provoked. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful. Seven hells, now the blades have an excuse. They'll round us up and kill anyone who tries to resist. Antecedent, please, if you won't help us build a new life, at least help us keep the ones we've got. My lady... We are not ones to stand idly by and watch innocents suffer. However, until we know more of the circumstances surrounding this riot, I am not certain what aid, if any, we can provide. If the authorities determine that the refugees attacked without provocation, then those responsible will have to answer for their actions. How can you be so blind? Find, find Alphano, and quickly, if he is in danger, or worse, I would have you and none other by his side. 
Thank you. Pray do not concern yourself with the matter we were we were discussing earlier. Ida and Papa Lima will see to it. Alfredo is being treated at the hourglass. Hurry, Mercy. And she and Tataru walk off, leaving the refugees unsure what to do, I would I would assume. It costs 346 to do Yeah, okay, so let's let's save some money. Take our free teleport to Gridania. I think that the next part of this quest is not going to be ridiculously long, although there is going to be a ridiculously long part coming up soon. I don't know how soon. I don't have a perfect memory. Well, most days I wouldn't even call it a good m memory. So we take 120 gil airship over to Ulda. Alfano will go to the Adventurers Guild here. The Quicksand, I believe it's called. Alpha is just standing here, seemingly no worse for the wear. Come, you must have gathered by now that Tataru is given to exaggeration. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I am quite well. Ulda, on the other hand, is not. This riot was anything but an isolated incident. There is a restlessness in the air. Tensions long simmering are at last threatening to boil over. The cutscene fades to black. We are now looking... Ulda is a nation infamous for the great disparity between the wealthy and the poor. The majority of the populace accepts this state of affairs because they believe that every man bears responsibility for his own lot in life. We're looking at Old Doc from outside, and it is really a pretty grand, like, castle keep built into, like, hill, like big old rocky hillsides. To an Old Dom, money is the foremost, and some would say the only measure of a man's worth. Small wonder that the wealthiest wield the greatest influence. We're inside now. So where do the refugees fit into this social hierarchy? What place is there for those who fled Alamigo and the destruction of the Calamity? We see a lot of people inside a nicely decorated circular room exchanging money, making deals, and then outside we see a couple shirtless seen better days kind of people looking in being like oh them rich people just flaunting it all along plainly there is none they have no wealth no power and no worth to the old dawn way of thinking they may as well not exist choosing to ignore their existence however is patently not an option general rauban and the sultana understand this which is why they ordered the immortal flames to provide the refugees aid and succor. Yet none would dispute that the expenses incurred by this policy grow by the day, with no end in sight. This has prompted more and more Uldans to question their obligation to aid these worthless wanderers. While more and more refugees have come to resent their treatment at the hands of the sneering citizenry. Mm hmm. It just builds and builds. The manner of Lord Lolorito's refusal to grant the Dolmen's asylum bespoke a disdain for all refugees, an attitude shared by the rest of the monetarists. And you may be sure they make no effort to conceal their opinions. It was only a matter of time before the refugees united in protest. 
Nor is it any surprise that some among them would ultimately resort to violence. <sighs> that the immortal flames should choose this of all occasions to engage in joint training exercises with the other grand companies. By the time they return, the situation may well have deteriorated beyond mending. I think the scheme that was happening um, with that merchant who we thought was kind of on our side, but is definitely not. Um, Adelegi, something like that. I think that he implanted or supplanted, whatever the word is, some some of his agents into the into the peaceful protest or protest or whatever, and. Um, Helped to push them toward the, toward the riotous uh, kind of action in order to make this all kind of escalate. Um, that is the end of this quest. Uh, it's the end of this video because it's, it's almost 27 minutes long. I'm going to make another video pretty much right after this, but maybe I'll make a drink first and... But yeah, I'll be right back. I'll see you guys soon.